we have our new shiny Bolt Blue Demo Electric Brompton. One of the key points to get the most out of your electric Brompton is to have the tyres inflated to the correct pressure. Our Demo Electric Brompton has marathon races on them. The maximum recommended pressure is 110 psi. We prefer to run them at about 100 to get the best performance out of our electric. If they're softer than this, your Brompton won't run so well and you won't get such good a range. This is best done with a track pump. We keep the little Brompton pump for emergencies. Normally a car pump won't go to a high enough pressure for your Brompton electric. Now my tyres are at the right pressure, so I'm all ready to ride. Because I'm at Surrey's least used train station, I don't really have the pressure to unfold promptly, so I'm going to do it at the bottom of the stairs. Put the battery on, which automatically turns it on. It needs to now be left alone for 30 seconds to do its self-calibration. This is important every time you turn your battery on. Because there's a torque and power sensor in the bottom bracket, you mustn't move the bicycle or the pedals. It will confuse its brain. This bit in the middle here is the bottom bracket. This is the really clever bit. It knows how hard and how fast you're pedaling. And then it talks to the motor to tell it how much power to give you. The calibration is to make sure it understands that there's no pressure on the pedals. So if you're moving them or putting pressure on them, it will think that's zero. So it really will confuse it and it won't know how much power to give you. The battery is in this little bag. It is recommended when you charge it to charge it in a dry place away from direct sunlight below 45 degrees centigrade. It is not recommended to charge it in a cold garage. If you store your battery, like when you're not going to ride your bike for a while, it's recommended that you store it with two to three bars of power to maintain the battery life. When you ride your Brompton, how long your battery power lasts will depend on so many different factors how you ride, your weight, the wind resistance, the tyre pressure, and obviously what power level you're on. You should not change power whilst you're riding. No! Please remember, if you want to change power levels, to stop and then press the button. You can tell it's a demo bike because it has demo on one side and then a Brompton decal on the other. A normal Brompton electric has the same Brompton decal on both sides. For me, the advantage of the two-speed electric Brompton is it's slightly lighter than the six-speed, about 750 grams lighter, so I'll find it easier to carry up the stairs. Before I fold it, I'm just gonna take the battery off and pop it over my shoulder. To get the most out of your electric Brompton, please remember it's designed to be ridden on smooth tarmac or paved roads. Sorry, other demo electric Brompton who might well have been used as a little bit of a mountain bike here and there. We apologize profusely, but you did survive very well. If you take your Brompton off-road and it's a rough surface, you, or you hit a pothole, it can cause your battery to disconnect properly from the front of the bicycle. If this happens, the power might cut out. If it's not performing, it's recommended to repeat the auto calibration on a flat surface. Here's some guidelines on where you should and shouldn't ride your electric Brompton. Smooth path, good. I think this path is questionable. It's tarmac underneath, but a bit lumpy on top. So probably not where the electric's actually designed to go.
In case you haven't noticed, the motor does make a noise. This is perfectly normal. Mountain bike track. Mountain bike track, bad. I promise Mike, I'm not going to ride down it. Tarmac road, a big thumbs up. Brompton Electric's natural habitat. Cycle far. Nicely laid tiles. To recap, to get the best out of your electric Brompton, we would say there's really three key steps. One, let your Brompton calibrate every time you start it. Two, keep your tyre pressures inflated. And three, look after your battery. And of course, keep it clean. A clean bicycle is always a happy bicycle. If you like this video on how to calibrate your electric Brompton, please give us a big thumbs up. If you want to see more of our videos, we'd love it if you subscribed, then you get a notification when we upload a new video. Did this how to get the most out of your electric Brompton help you? If it did, I'm really glad. Coming soon. We've just got some power meter pedals and we're really looking forward to compare the different powers needed on different settings versus a manual Brompton. I failed the audition, so I had to use the station platform instead. This is Long Cross Station. It is Surrey's least used train station. We're not certain when the next train is. Yes. Remembering, an electric Brompton is exactly the same to fold as a manual Brompton. Because you've never done this before, ever, ever folded a bicycle before. You might want to get the pedal out of the way before you try to put the front of the bicycle on. I don't understand. Every time we start playing with electric Bromptons, it starts raining. <laughs> never work. Never work with animals or children. And I've decided that Brompton is in the animal category. This calibration is really important because the bottom bracket has a torque and here's some guidelines on where you should and shouldn't ride your electric prompt. Station platform. Surface looks nice, but I don't think you really should ride on the station platform. might be fun. This one, we have solemnly sworn that we will look after much better. Sorry, Mike. I'm really sorry. <laughs>